Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm just going to do a quick gel polish design. Um, it's going to be a black design. I know, I don't generally do a lot of black but um, I have these lovely, lovely dot mixes and I'm pretty certain they all came from Glitter Stella um, purely because I've got another one in the pot and I'm going well I know that definitely came from Glitter Stella so I assume I would have brought it as a multi-pack um, and I've been wanting to do something with this dot mix for a while um, and then somebody made a glitter the other day and they had it on their nails when I was watching a video and I went, do you know what I really like that and that's where this inspiration came from um, as we all know I hate my black polish with a passion as you can tell it's pants um, I've been a very good girl, so I'm hoping that Father Christmas might bring me a decent black polish, you know, go and have, can but hope. Um, anyway, we're going to do two coats of black, um, and this is a 30 second cure in my LED lamp for each coat. <sighs> you know the old saying, you know, it's like watching paint dry. Yeah, it's a little bit like that when you're waiting for it to come out the lamp. Thankfully, I cut all of that out for you. So we've now got our two coats. There's our dot mixes. We're going to use some Neo Base um, to put a layer on, but we are not going to cure it until we've put our dots in it. Now, this stuff, it's got a really weird smell. And it's a bit like Marmite. I can't decide whether or not I like it or I don't. Not that it smells like Marmite. It doesn't smell like Marmite. But, you know, it's, it's that principle of going... Like, I smell my man. I go, ooh, ooh, do you know what? That might be right. And then I taste it. I'm going, nope. Nope. It'd be like bovril. Yeah, there's an old-fashioned word. Somebody in my office really likes bovril. And you know, like when they're making it, you can smell it going, hmm, that smells really, really nice. And, uh, you know, and then you try and go, ooh, <laughs> no. No. Um, I suppose they're probably quite similar, I would imagine, Marmite and Bovril, actually. They're probably, um, yeah, no, they probably are quite similar. <coughs> Just one you spread on your toast and one you put in liquid form. <laughs> Anywho, so these dot mixes are great because we've got, um, so I went with the theme that all these colours would kind of tie into each other, but each nail is going to have a different one on it. And as we know, this this one, this hand has yet to be named. Um, you know, the manufacturer does call it Kitty, but I'm not that fond of it. Um, and it doesn't have a thumb. So, you yeah. know. So I'm going to fanny around quite a lot, poking these dots where I want them to be, and then changing my mind and then rearranging. Oh, look, there we go. Nice close-up for you. I remembered where the camera was. Whoop, whoop. And then we're going to come along and we're going to pick up the next colour and we're going to pop that in. Now this one I think has got more of the turquoise colour in it. Yes, like I said, the great thing is, is is where the record box pops up on your editing is right over where all the fingers are. So I have to kind of guess whereabouts we've got to. And seeing as I recorded this probably about a week ago... <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I can't fully remember where I got to on this, but yeah, I'm I'm pretty certain this is where we've got the turquoise and pink. Yep, yeah, there we go turquoise, pink, and a bit of gold. See, it's flowing. <laughs> and then the next one, I think, is I think it's just turquoise and pink. Yeah, that's what it's looking like to me. And then once we've put all of the dots in, we are going to zap this in the lamp. Now, this is a 60 second cure. OK, um, even in an LED, it, it's a 60 second cure, this one. But it does secure everything. There we go. And then the last one, I think, is then the yeah, turquoise and gold. See? beautiful little party um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to top coat them and don't forget we need to do our floaty floaty top coat um, 
because we want to make sure it gets into all of those nooks and crannies. Um, looking back on it, I can't see why I didn't actually just encapsulate it in build gel. Well, yeah, in gel. Um, anywho, what I did, I did floaty floaty top coat and then once that was done, oh no, I, I seem to have done it the opposite way. Either way, I did two coats of top coat on it to seal it all in and to make sure it wasn't all lumpy bumpy. You know, sometimes I would quite like an effect on my nails, other times not. Um, whereas, yeah, I, I probably, in hindsight, would have gone and got my self-levelling gel and done a thin layer of that over and then top coated over the top. Um, but hey. Look at the shiny. Pretty, pretty shiny. <laughs> okay, and then here's the finished result. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Bye!